We're both boys, you see. If you were to go... How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Well, when did you first see the film and kind of like, how did you respond? I think, I, I forget the first time I saw the film because I saw it and then I just kind of kept watching it over and over again. I just like almost memorized it, like, like your, your poetry. You know, I I'd thought about this problem before that. You know, I've been with my current boyfriend for almost two years and it's, it, it, it gets to the point where there's, there's all these mixed feelings like being in public just like I want to show some affection but just always feeling like like I have to be careful it's a very like subtle feeling of terror of being terrorized you miss the total point of it which is just to be holding hands and enjoying what that means because um, the the first time for love event was the first time I held the boyfriend's hand in public so how did the first event go? Like, what did it feel like? We had five couples there, and you know, it was simple. We just walked around, kind of like we did like a figure eight around the park, and we went back. It was, it was just, I, I can't describe it. It was such a fantastic feeling. It was such a feeling of, like, this is a safe space right now. When I was doing it, it was like, it was the easiest thing. This is what you do when you're in a park, is you hold hands with someone that you love. You know, if you have someone like that. It's just so crucial to the relationship because, I mean, I did touch on this in the poem, but the worst part is you just start to associate that person with danger and like almost I guess maybe like a, survive, a survival instinct kicks in. I need to survive so I'm going to put, to stay safe I'm going to push them away. Tell me about like the future of the project and where you want to go. Hopefully you know um, as people feel safe and comfortable doing that within the group like you know maybe they're in Boston Public Garden and they're like oh let's get some lunch and they're still holding hands when they're going to get lunch. You know, they're, they're kind of pushing their boundaries themselves because I think of Time for Love as kind of like, almost like a training ground. You're putting that into practice, what you want to go yeah. out and take out back into the world. Yeah, I love how you talk about it. I love how much you understand it and love it. It's great. It's so nice to hear. Oh, thank you. My, my big goal is to make Boston, you know, a safe space. I, I it, it's, it's really lofty to think about trying to go to like, the whole United States. That would be a dream, a dream come true if we could take over the world with our big gay agenda. But yeah, uh, right. <laughs> but um, yeah, we need to I think start small. If people watch this and mm -hmm. they're in Glasgow or anywhere, how can they help us? Well, in fact, if it's possible in Boston, it can be possible in a lot of places. Yeah, it's it's doing so much to help everyone when when you when you do something like this whether you're doing it in time for love or not maybe some people will watch a video they'll be like oh like i feel inspired enough to try it myself just not part of any organized effort yeah you know? and also like not just for couples because i'm like shit can i go to the time for love project whose hand am i gonna hold <laughs> like oh yeah, yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah like what, what's happened in some events is there's you know just randomly happens to be a one person comes another person comes they're both single they need someone to hold hands with so it's worked out but oh, the best thing to do is just bring nice. your friend, you know, just, it, yeah. it could be your best friend, it could be, it could be anyone. I love it. I'm so grateful for, <laughs> for you and your work. Oh, it's, it's amazing. Thank you so much. Um, I'm grateful for the video that you put out. I think that um, it gave a voice to a problem that most couples don't want to even admit there is. The idea is like time for love gets successful enough that it's not needed anymore. Every time, anywhere is safe. And then we can move on to the next problem.
<laughs> there's always another problem. That's life, though. There's always another problem to tackle. Yeah. Thank you so, so, so much. Honestly. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Absolutely. Absolutely. I appreciate that. You'd think it was just about time for love. <laughs>